performance testing is creating a load of transactions and users on a system so you can find uh, where the bottlenecks are and the memory leaks are. We do this with our software using testing software that creates uh, virtual users or as we call them actors and each actor has a role to play in our test. Mm -hmm. Some users will, I'm sorry, some actors <laughs> will um, open up documents and add annotations or update index data while other actors will be querying or um, scanning in documents. All this is done over a specific period of time such as an eight hour work day and we'll use what I like to call controlled randomness. So when these actors are importing documents, we'll have a pool of a million different documents in a database they can pull from. And there'll be different document types. There'll be Word documents or spreadsheets or PDFs or JPEGs or TIFFs. And there'll be different sizes also. Some will be two pages long, some will be 50 or 100 or 500. All this done to simulate load on the system. So we can then analyze that data when we're done and say, okay, there are memory leaks here, let's solve that problem. Or here's a bottleneck in the database, these transactions are taking too long to process, let's solve that. You know, a lot of people get caught up in the number of users on a system. It's like, oh, we can do four million users. Well, what is a user? Five users importing a million documents a day is going to put a lot of stress and load on your system, more so than a thousand users who are importing 40 documents a day. We do our performance testing so we can ensure that we'll handle either one of those scenarios or anything in between.